Good morning, students. Today we are going to see about the unit seven, plant kingdom. Last class we have seen about the fungi and the bryophytes. Today we are going to see about the pteridophytes, gymnosperm and the angiosperm. The first one is pteridophytes. What are the general characters of pteridophytes? They are first land plants. Land plants. So that is a bryophytes are called as amphibious plants. Can you remember? But the first land plants are nothing but the pteridophytes. They are actually vascular cryptogams. What is the meaning of vascular? They having vascular tissues that is called as xylem and phloem. These are called as vascular cryptogams. They exhibit alteration generation. That is called alteration generation means sporophyte and gametophyte. Here the diploid is the sporophyte. Diploid means two n. Then haploid gametophyte because they are producing the gametes. So that is the gametes are having single n, only one chromosome. So that is why we are called as haploid. Understand? The plant body is called as dominant. That is sporophyte. It is called as sporophyte, which is a dominant phase. Then the it is divided into that is differentiated into root, stem, and a Leaves, but in bryophytes there will be no root dominant phase which reproduces by means of spores, which is produced in sporangium. The sporophyte having the sporangium which produces the spores. Understand? The sporangia bears leaves. The leaves are called as sporophylls. Most plant produce only one spore that is called as homospores. Some other plants produces two kinds of spores that is male and female spores that is called as heterospores. Homo means same, hetero means different. Understand? The spore gives rise to plant body. The plant body is called as thallus. So in the thallus is a short lived, short, very short lived, which is an independent one. Understand? Then the gametophyte produce multicellular sex organs that is anthridium and archegonium. Anthridium is the male sex organ whereas the archegonium is the female sex organ. The anthridium produces the male gamete that is anthrozoa or spermatozoa whereas the archegonium is the female sex organ produces the Egg. Understand? So the gametophyte produces the gametes that is which are having n. That is why we are called as haploid. Haploid. They are having single n. Understand? So then after producing the gametes, fertilization takes place. What is the meaning of fertilization? Union of male and female gametes. We are called as fertilization. So here the anthrozoa is the male gamete, egg is the female gamete is union of these two we are called as fertilization resulting in the two n zygote n plus n anthrozoid n and a egg or n and the same we are called as two n that is called as zygote then the zygote going to undergo a number of divisions resulting in the embryo the embryo forms the sporophyte understand what are the classification of the Pteridophytes. The pteridophytes are Coelopsida, Lycopsida, Sphenopsida and Pteropsida. What are the economic importance of the pteridophytes? The ferns, Perenichedi in Surya Tamil, Perenichedi. So the ferns are useless and ornamental plant. What is called as ornamental Aladhi Sadhanam? That is here, ornamental na Aladhi Sadhanam Vitla Valakara. Understand? The rhizome of Petioles of Dryopteres used as vermifuge drug. Understand? So that is Nama Vaitra Ulla Pulukal Gunda or a drug matra the Arpandaki use of. Then sporocarp of Marsila, fooled in by tribals. Malaywal Jari in Runde, in the Siranga, on the Fuda on the Sapran. Then next one is, second one is gymnosperms. Gymnosperm means they are naked seeded ovule is not enclosed by ovary. That is called as naked seeded plant. So, we have to do this. We have to do 
material. So that is why these are called as natural seeded plants. They are having the life cycle of two phases as like as pteridophyte, sporophyte and gametophyte. Understand? The sporophyte is also a dominant which is differentiated into root stem and leaves. They have well developed vascular tissues that is xylem and phloem are well developed in the gymnosperms. Understand? They having the water conducting tissue that is a tracheid then food conduct tissue that is sieve cell. So tracheid is present in the xylem whereas the sieve cell present in the phloem. So they are well developed vascular tissues. They have core on which is sporangia and spores are produced a cumbu like structure. So this is called as cone. Understand? What are the economic importance of the gymnosperms? They, the wood of gymnosperm used in paper industries. So a lot of cutting on the paper is for that. Soft wood is used in packing plywood industry. Plywood is used in plywood industry. So that is called as plywood. Then turpentine. Then this is called the resin of pines is called as turpentine. They especially the cure of turpentine, bronchitis and the relief pain. Then seeds of pines are edible, soft brown. Ephedrine, asthma. So the ephedrine is extracted from the ephedrine tree which cures the asthma and also the respiratory problems. Then finally the auricaria. The auricaria is an ornamental plant. Then the classification of gymnosperms that is cycadals, cycas, zincoils, example zinco, pyloba, then coniferals, pinus, zentals, zentum. Understand? Then third one is angiosperms. So angiosperm means closed seeded plants. The seeds are closed by the coverings. That is, the, these are called as flowering plants. That is called as angiosperms. That is 4 lakh, nearly 4 lakh living species. They occupy in every habitat except hot or hot, cold or very extreme hot temperature. Understand? They present as in herb, shrub and they have well developed conducting tissues that is xylem and phloem. Xylem are divided into xylem vessels, xylem fibers, xylem tracheids and xylem parenchyma. Likewise, phloem are nothing but companion cells, phloem fibers and sieve tube and phloem parenchyma. They are very well developed vascular tissues. The angiosperms are having. Understand? Then the angiosperms are divided. Angiosperms are divided into monocot and dicot. What is the meaning of monocot? The monocots are nothing but having only one cartilage. Understand? They are having fibrous root. Then they are the leaves are having parallel venation. The flowers are trimerous. Mune munu either nine. Then no differentiated calyx at the corolla, floor lo, flower lo, the calyx corolla on the differentiate panicade. Then pollination, Maharanda Cherki on the Kathanala Nadaka, example grass and the paddy. Whereas dicot stem, they are having two cartilidans. Rendi cartilidan, they are having tap root system, anywhere system on the other. Then the venation is reticulate. The leaf is having reticulate vein. Venation means valipinal mari, or a vein samanjurko. Then the flower is tetramerous or pentamerous. Nad either lalade or either le. Example, hibiscus. Salam patu piniye. Then the calyx and the corolla are well developed to attract the insects for cross pollination. Understand? The pollination is taken by the insects most probably. Example, bean and red gram. Understand? The differentiate between the monocot and the dicot. Then, what are the uses of medicinal plants? Akhelfa, Kupaymini, belongs to family, Euphorbiaceae. The, uh, they are useless to cure the skin disease. Then, the juice cures. 
పోయింది జ్యూస్ బ్లాండ్ మిక్సర్ విత్ లెమన్ జ్యూస్ టు క్యూర్ రింగ్ వామ్ అయితే ఉన్న అప్పుడు కూడా ఉంది రింగ్ వామ్ మీన్స్ దట్ ఈస్ అండ్ ద తేమల్ అంత మారి వరదా అది వంద క్యూర్ పడ్డ దెన్ అగ్లే మామేల్స్ విల్ వామ్ దెన్ బ్లాంక్స్ టు ఫ్యామిలీ రూట్ ఏసి సో దిస్ దట్ ఈస్ బిఫోర్ ద లీవ్స్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ప్లాంట్ యూస్ టు క్యూర్ పైల్స్ అండ్ సారీ ఇంకో తర్మో the unripe fruit that is kai used to treat indigestion namaku digestion aagalaina undu cure pandradukonde use pandrom understand then solanum tributum thoodugalai blanks to family solanese so cure the uh, that is cold and the fever also then philarthas amarthas kilanelli euphorbiaceae blanks to family euphorbiaceae that cures the jaundice understand then aloe vera sotu kathalai that is a blanks to family lily ac it cures peptic ulcer and cure piles and inflammation of the skin okay students we will see data thank you